Well, congratulations to us. Another win tonight against fellow promotion rivals Welling. You must be delighted. I, um, I thought first 45 minutes were excellent. Really did. Should have put the game to bed. Then we, we had a sloppy 25 minutes, to be honest, where we couldn't do anything right. Um, Shank the clamses. Uh, we missed Ben at the back because you got what, to change two positions, which has been an excellent back four, to be honest. Uh, I knew it was going to be quite an eight. I knew it was going to be from the players a bit subdued a little bit because what happened on the weekend? It's a fair play to them getting a result in eight against, I think a lot of people would have maybe ex- um, expect a little bit of an upset if you like um, but you know I, I thought we got stopped in the second half I thought the crowd you know obviously well, if you know, what's going on here sort of thing because what we've done in the last couple of months I think I've had a couple of shouts at me in the last corner again I hasn't happened but I've done it so they the shout at me and not them and um, and that's football really but um, you know it'd be credit to them to win it and aim the spin whatever we've done and it was all, when I even got here and it was a very quiet um, place which is bound to be after what's happened uh, on the weekend so I've got any complaints we're going to move on now and um, you know we'll stand out and improve and we'll get better and um, Max Trasma will be fit by next Saturday and Ben Gavin will be fit by next Saturday so we're in a good place we're in a good place and half time you must have come in feeling you know pretty pleased really in control and then did you not feel that perhaps Welling might have a spell in the second half what was the feeling in the dressing room it was just the, the, the next girl if we scored next goal, I think we would make one company a good side. Well, and you know, a good uh, we watched them on Saturday win 5 3 in a decent side. But a half time, I just uh, as a manager, you think differently from crowds and probably everybody where you think one nil's never won nothing because it's just a turn. That's all it needs a little turn. And they had their turn, and we started getting sloppy a bit and then um, started making a few mistakes. And I think a bit of panic come in because. I'm not making Sunday as an excuse, but it's always going to be the, the television the thing, and all of a sudden you're back to conference out football and, and conference out football as make mistakes. And, um, and I always thought it was going to be a bit like uh, some people under par a little bit in the, the second bit, but the first half was very good. So if I'd have scored that two of the heads, that chance in the second half and made it 2 0, then I think we would have won the game quite comfortable, but we never. But the bottom line is you've got to give credit to the players for digging in and um, Without you know Ben and all that you know and stuff like that and moving Nathan across one, have you back one, you know you've got to give credit to them. Um, what is the news on Ben? He's broke a toenail. <laughs> um, no, that's what these buggers do now. You know what I mean? They break a toenail now for two weeks. But um, no, but um, he's got some swelling, poor lamb on his um, on his ankle and all that. Bless his heart. So it's, um, he's come all the way up. But we didn't know it till we got here because. If I'd have known this morning, maybe he's all like, I knew it was swelling, but I thought, I'll oh, just play. And he come with 25 tattoos all around him and things like that, and come in my office and how much he loves it here. Yeah, and all of a sudden, oh, by the way, I've just feel a fitness test. Fantastic, yeah. So, uh, no, but he'll be, he'll be happy for next week. He'll be okay for next week. Max Krasman, will believe, will be okay for next week. So, uh, the best, uh, it's come probably at the right time and really get crack and get standards back up on the training ground with all the hype. We haven't had many training sessions once say, right, come on, let's get the standards really back up. So, um, uh, from now on, 10 days we can do that. We'll get the standards right back up, we will, and then we'll come flying out against St Albans, I've no doubt. And without bedding, be- <laughs> say, well, bigging I up. I was going to say, it's easy for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm the one who's supposed to talk funny, not you. I know. Okay. Without bigging him up too much, we did miss his aerial prowess, didn't we? They caused a lot of problems from set plays, and of course there was that heart-stopping moment where they hit the inside of the post. That's right. I, oh, no, definitely, and I think we knew that as well, Via we went, because uh, he's a good football and say, but Via we went three kicks, get it in, corners, get it in, and the new Ben wasn't playing, who's a massive loss, because he always takes their biggest man and, you know, and stuff, and, you know, I think we'll bring Harvey back or get some people back, but... We're not like Ben, other Ben wins every header. And um so uh, we did miss that to be honest, I've got no doubt about that. But we've got through it, um, got away with it a little bit. Um got through it. Um a lot of tired people I think in general, not so much tired legs, but drained a little bit. I understand that from the chairman down to the tea lady and, and yourselves. Everybody's put a massive effort in the last couple of weeks to make it a great occasion for the club and it was just getting a reality check now, saying listen, look here. We haven't had the best night in the office, but we've had, got three points. Let's get back to being working again and get the crowd back on side again. And the only ways we're going to do that is by one, getting three points, and one, showing the supporters that we're working hard for them. Once we get that right again. And good to see Imani Little back out there again. And he had tremendous energy levels, didn't he? And got about Welling and made some crucial interceptions as well. I thought he was the best player. I thought he was the man of the match, or whatever gets judged by, I do it now. But um, just like I thought Jack Cook was on... Um, on Sunday, by quite a distance, I thought the morning was by far our best player. And all that, you know, I mean, Casey's been a level of consistency all the way through. 
Um, but Amani's come in and has been our ba- best player by quite a distance tonight, to be honest. And uh, and we know that, and he knows that. So we'd like to get him back to the end of the season. And like Harvey, really, Harvey looked a bit rusty, which he would be. But um, he'll come good. And Lewis come off, and Heidi will be back in, and all that. You know, we just need to. We felt as though we needed to freshen something up. And sometimes people are unlucky not to play. But you always play the best team. What you think will win a game of football? And um, I won't change that. And good to see Greg Lua getting on the score sheet again. And it's an important time too. Ah, and the last time we played centre forward, he scored a hat trick. So he certainly, and we played him out way, didn't we, a little bit on, um, well, you know, on um, Sunday. But when we're playing the conference south, he can come inside and nick a goal. But obviously playing against, you know, he done the first half. We're playing against the caliber player he was playing against on um, Sunday, he found it a little bit more difficult. But please for Greg, good attitudes coming off, you know. And no game on Saturday. Is that a good thing to rest tired bodies? I think this is not tired bodies, but a tired football club. Um, I came in early this morning trying to get everybody at it, including you know people that come in and have a crack. But I think we are a bit of a tired football club. So I think who I think supporters need a bit of time off because they spend a lot of money and time and energy and all this. Well, I think staff do. You know, I think we do as management, as players and things like that. I think we've got a little bit of a tired football club full stop. So I think it's going to do everybody a world of good having a weekend off. Lovely. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure.